At the Quail Lodge here, we found you know quite a few really cool motorcycles. For me, a highlight is this Gurney Alligator right in front of me. I've never actually seen one in person before. With me is Perry King, the legendary. Can I call you legendary? Yeah, you can. Sure. I don't think it fits, you know. but I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> the, well, for today, today, legendary Perry King. This is his personal Gurney Alligator right here beside me here. Uh, Perry, why don't you just tell me some more about it? Okay, and you notice that there are four gators right here, and there are four different versions of, of this premise. And Dan Gurney's premise was low center of gravity. Uh, he's a big guy, Dan, he's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and he always wanted, he's famous for racing cars, winning everything in sight. But he always loved motorcycles and wanted to race motorcycles when he was young, but he was too big to do it effectively. And he always thought to himself, why can't I sit inside a motorcycle? Why do I have to sit on top of a motorcycle? So what this is, is you, everyone out there knows recumbent bicycles, has heard of that. This is a recumbent motorcycle. When you sit on this, what you're really doing is sitting in almost the same position you'd sit in in a Porsche, a sports car. But the only difference is instead of a steering wheel, you got handlebars. So let me show you. I'll sit on this, and you'll see the position of it. So I'm I'm pretty much the way I'd be if I was in a sports car, right? Except I've got handlebars. When you get going fast on this, we all tend to to hunch up like this, and this is sort of the position. When you're just cruising, you can lean back. But the premise of this bike, low center of gravity, lightweight, a lot of horsepower. This has about 80 horse. So even though it looks like a Honda 650, it's only that bottom end, the top end stands. The end result for me is, if I'm on equal sport bikes to everybody on a nice winding road, I'm in the back of the pack, right? I'm cautious, I don't want to get hurt. Without changing those parameters at all, on this bike, without me being any faster, I'm way out in front because the bike is so good. It's like a, it's like a slot car on two wheels. You know, right. it's just like a razor blade. There's none of that that you get on a normal sport bike. That feeling going up over the top into sure. a left to a right. Sure. This thing is just like a razor blade, like a like a formula car, a race formula car. So kind of, like I see a tie here. Like Gurney really wanted to tie in his car racing background onto two wheels. Yes, and that's so, why it's painted this scheme. This one's his his paint scheme. Looking. Well, it's his paint scheme for when he was very successful with F1, Formula One. He's the only guy to ever win, only American, excuse me, to ever win an F1 race in a car he built himself in 67. That's right. And, uh, and this car had this paint scheme, blue with white stripes. And he built 36 of these blue ones because that was his car number. So here's, this is Dan's personal album. This is the only and one of these that isn't blue and white. And this is just raw carbon fiber. And he just liked the way it looked. And this is a very high plenum. And I don't remember what the purpose of that. Make it breathe better, I'm sure. I think that's the, the point of it. The, cause it larger area than... Yeah, this is not a gas tank. This is an intake plenum in here. Oh, okay. And this, so these bikes are injected. The gas tank's actually down here. Right. Low weight again. Putting the weight as close to the bottom. Center of gravity. And this is an s, s bottom end, but the top end is Dan's race shop. This bike. So this, this we call the V-Gator. And uh, this makes about 150 horsepower. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. It's about two liters, I think just over two liters, the motor. And uh, this is just a beast. It is unbelievable. When you gas this thing, first of all, it makes no difference what gear you're in. There's six speeds. It doesn't matter. It's so much torque that it couldn't care less what gear you're in. And you gas this and you actually feel your eyeballs go back in your head. <laughs> it's extraordinary this bike. And yet it has the handling of, of the other gators. Dan's motto for these bikes is more smiles per mile. The idea is fun. That's what he built them for. I imagine this thing delivers. Fun. It does. <laughs> like no I got twenty eight motorcycles. And on the street, at least, this is the most fun bike I've gotten by far. No kidding. Yeah. That's cool. For just grinning and feeling on top of the world, this is the bike. Very. Thank you. Good to talk to you. Education. Thank you. I like it. Thanks.